This is a review of landmark papers for damage control laparotomy from the East Landmark Papers in Trauma and Acute Care Surgery online resource. This paper is part one of three in a series produced by East on management of the open abdomen. Part one specifically focuses on damage control, providing guidelines on indications for the open abdomen, surgical technique for temporary abdominal closure, and repeat laparotomy with staged abdominal reconstruction, as well as nutritional support. With respect to indications, there is no level one evidence for trauma, emergency general surgery, or vascular emergencies regarding indications for the open abdomen. However, hypothermia, acidosis, coagulopathy, severe necrotizing pancreatitis, and significant visceral edema after procedures that would result in abdominal compartment syndrome should all be considered as indications. The technique for temporary abdominal closure must provide for easy re-exploration, be cost-effective, and have a high rate of definitive closure. A three-layer dressing, including a protective visceral layer, suction drains, and occlusive adhesive drape is considered the current standard. Permanent mesh should not be used as is associated with high fistula rates. With respect to staged abdominal reconstruction, at relaparotomy, primary fascial closures should be performed when possible. A stage reconstruction should be considered when there is an inability to eliminate or adequately control the source of infection, incomplete debridement of necrotic tissue, excessive visceral edema, questionable bowel viability, or critically ill patients whose condition precludes definitive repair. It should take place after physiologic normalization. Additionally, enteral feeding in patients with an open abdomen and intact GI tract should be instituted as early as possible as it may improve the rate of early primary fascial closure and decreases rate of fistula formation, although this is level three evidence. In conclusion, for the best patient outcomes, protocols including the four points discussed should be outlined.